Why is it telling me to make a U-turn? What the hell? It told me to take a right. I'm not making a U-turn in the middle of the street like that. Uh, oh, I could have went in there and, 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 yeah. God dang it, man. Oh, I'm screwed up now. Alright guys, so we are out of there and we are headed to, uh, pfft, I don't remember the name, Milton, Milton something, Alabama. Milton City, I think is what it is. Milton City. To pick up a tire load. This is going to be the second time I've done this from uh, Michelin Tires. I picked up before at Michelin, but I don't think it was here. I think it was a different Michelin plant. Yeah, it definitely was a different Michelin plant. It was somewhere else. Can't remember what state, but it was not in Alabama. Uh, that one gave me some problems to find the entrance and I ended up getting stopped at a dead end and having to back all the way up and then went into the wrong gate. This was like before I was filming for my YouTube. Like it was my first week out solo basically. Uh, so I wasn't filming yet so that's why you guys didn't see any of that. Uh, yeah but other than that I just went and delivered it and everything. So we are about two hours away right now. That's what it says on my GPS. And then we'll be there to uh, grab some tires, man. Hopefully it goes uh, easier than the last Michelin place I went to. Plus, I'm a little bit more experienced since the last one. Now, the only problem is when you put in the address in Google Satellite, there's just a big empty lot right there. So it looks like they built it recently. Must be a newer one. I'll show you guys right here. But it's just a big open lot. There's residentials right across the street from it, it looks like. But that's the exact freaking address right there that pulled up on satellite. My GPS found it too, so they should both concur. And uh, yeah, I guess it was built there, but there's plenty of space right there for a plant to go. There's a lot of space, actually. So I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to be. I turned on the camera for a reason, because I was sitting on this back Alabama highway, and usually when cars pass me, I look over and, you know... You know, maybe I see some things. <laughs> Typically, it might be a girl with some nice legs or some nice boobs or, you know, whatever. But I'm I'm cruising, and this car is passing me, and they're passing kind of slow. I mean, you know, they're only going a couple miles an hour faster than me. I look over, and there's a chick with her head down in her boyfriend's, friend's, husband's lap. Just, uh, you know, yeah. Giving him some action, basically. And I'm like, all righty then. <laughs> and they just kept on going to the left lane. I was like, well, it's the first time I've seen that. I know truck drivers, pretty much every truck driver has seen that. Obviously, I've only been on the road for, you know, a little over two months now. And uh, I haven't seen it yet. Then again, I don't look at every single car that passes me. Or, you know, I'm governed at 65. So a lot of times they fly past me super quick. I can't really see anything anyways. But... Yeah, this one was just right there. And I was like, oh, nice. Like, you know. <laughs> uh, and then I turned on the camera to tell you guys. But, I mean, obviously I didn't have it on because I'm just doing this. Like, there's nothing to do. Nothing to see. It's just some trees and some grass. I don't know. I run out of things to talk about. Oh, shit. That's why, I, uh, that's why I don't usually film on just these long, boring highways. Because, I don't know. I run out of things to talk about. Like now, I just did. That's why I didn't say anything else after that. Because I'm like, I don't know what else to talk about. Look, guys. It's a nice Kia van there. I mean, like, what am I supposed to... What, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty good at, like, keeping conversation with myself going. Considering I've been doing it for, like, six years on YouTube. But, you know, sometimes I just draw a blank, man. I don't always have something to say. It's the power of editing. It always looks like I'm talking when I'm not. <laughs> We're almost there. Rest area in five miles. I do have to pee. Maybe I should hit the rest area. Does this dude's brake lights not work or something? I don't think his trailer brake lights are working. Because I just see them slow down, but there's no uh, <laughs> no trailer brake lights. I don't know. I'll have to see next time we stop or something. It didn't seem like they were working unless he was freaking downshifting like a motherfucker. I don't know. They're all about some uh, planes and helicopters and stuff around here in Ozark, Alabama, ain't they? Let's see if his brake lights work. I swear they weren't working. No, I don't think they are. 
Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, he was just downshifting, I guess, because he was really cutting speed. And I was like, man, I don't see no freaking lights, dude. And it was kind of startling me. I was like, oh, he's cutting speed. But, yeah, he was just downshifting, I guess. I know how it works, man. I can drive a manual. I own a manual car. I ride motorcycles. And I train in a manual truck. So trust me when I say I understand downshifting. Yeah, he rolled back a little bit. All right, guys, so there is a rest area right here uh, 11 minutes before our stop, and I'm going to hit it just because I really have to freaking pee. <laughs> and, like, I don't know, maybe I get to this place and there's a long line of trucks and all that good stuff. I mean, I could have just peed in a bottle, but, you know, if I don't have to, and there's a rest area right here, and I'm a solid 45 minutes ahead of schedule, then why not? Why not just stop at the rest area and do the right thing? You know what I mean? A little video rest area, man. No parking over here. Uh, there should be plenty of parking this time during the day at freaking 11. Everybody's driving. You guys would be surprised how these rest areas fill up with trucks uh, at night. Anyways, guys, I'm going to um, stop right here. Go to the bathroom, and uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in a little bit when we get closer to our delivery. You know what I'm saying, bros? All right, guys, so I filmed myself finding and pulling into this place and all that stuff. Well, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't hit the button because when I got done and went to turn the GoPro off, it turned on. So I guess I screwed up. Anyways, I would have filmed it, but we just got here. Um, this is a Michelin plant. Um, I just stopped at the security guard and he told me what to do. He said, go up to this stop sign, take this left, go up here, empties go on the left, your loaded will be on the right. So, yeah. And we're getting a nice 5 Series trailer too, which would be nice. Is there anywhere to park this thing? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of spots on the left. That won't be too bad. Unauthorized access to trailers prohibited. I'm authorized, bro. Get some. All right. I think it's 50669. Ugh, I put the freaking thing in my back pocket. The bills. There it is right there, 50669. That's my trailer. Dang, it's the nicest CFI trailer out here too, dude. <laughs> right there. Heck yeah. All right, empties on the left. Let's look for a spot here. Uh, I can do it right here. I mean, I could. There's more. Oh, no, I can't. There's a trailer right there. That one's way back there. What about right here? Nope, there's a trailer right there too. Okay. What about right here? This would be super easy. I just pull up there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's tight. It's kind of they're kind of at an angle there. I don't like that. What about this one? Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I don't have much room to pull up, so I'm gonna have to do my best here. Oh, I jacked that all up, guys. I'm gonna go put it next to that other CFI. Actually, that's gonna be an easier spot for me. here that's a big old spot too bro and I can go up there okay yeah that's easier for me let me just do this I mean I could have gotten in that one if I alley docked it but I really didn't feel like trying to alley dock it so I was like you know what screw that so what we do is we go up like this now we hang left there we go beautiful easy Let's try that. Right next to our pal CFI there. I gotta watch this trailer over here, make sure that I don't swing out and hit that. 
so I gotta get my trailer back. I need to cut it close to RCFI there because if not, I'm gonna go too wide and it's not gonna be, and I have to watch that. There we go. Oh God. Am I too close to the CFI there? No, it's gonna work. I just gotta watch that I don't hit this trailer next to me. Oh, did that work out perfectly? Let's get under it now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys. I did it. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. I gotta angle it more. It's a little bit too, uh, it's not angled like these are. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Let's look at how that looks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dave got it, son. What y'all know about it? Hell yeah, bro. Easy peasy. Let me back it up a little bit more, though. I didn't realize my whole truck was turned. Okay, that's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right, guys. Let me grab my gloves. Pull both brakes. Let's go unhook. Go hook up to our new one. And we'll be out of here, guys. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So we have our trailer. We are leaving the Michelin plant, headed to South Carolina. Somewhere I have not trucked yet before. But yeah, I was trying to find this place and it's kind of like you come around a corner and a bunch of trees are blocking it. And then suddenly I was like, oh, there's Michelin. I had to like slam on the brakes to like turn into here because my GPS and Google Maps was saying it was up a little bit further. Both were. And there's no, this place was built recently. So there wasn't any like uh, satellite imagery. So it was just kind of like guessing game basically. <laughs> But anyways, we got the trailer, we're all good to go, and uh, headed to South Carolina, man. So the nearest major truck stop that's on my route is like three hours away, dude, it's a loves. I got only three hours and 40 minutes of drive time left today, and at loves only has like 50 spots, so it's a pretty small loves. It'll be about three something when I get there, so I'm hoping if I do try to make it to there that they have some spots. But the thing is, I don't have to deliver this load until tomorrow at like freaking 3.30 in the afternoon. I, I may as well stop now wherever the hell I can stop and I can do the whole damn thing tomorrow. I mean, yeah, I, I would want to get far today, but if, if I start driving a lot today, then all that's going to do is end up making me sit more tomorrow and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't like when I have these late delivery times. I like early delivery times. I like 4 a.m., 2 a.m., 7 a.m. I like all that stuff and then I time it to where I stay on my normal schedule where I'm up and going at 1 or 2 a.m. You know what I mean? But instead now I'm going to be probably sitting somewhere like this marathon here. Actually there was that Dairy Queen up here wasn't there. Why is it telling me to make a U-turn? What the hell? It told me to take a right. I'm not making a U-turn in the middle of the street like that. Uh, oh, I could have went in there and, 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 yeah. God dang it, man. Oh, I screwed up now. You stupid ass thing, man. I hate this damn GPS sometimes. Uh, it wanted me to take a right and then make a U-turn. Well, there's a turning lane up here. Maybe I can make the U-turn there. I don't know. God dang it, man. Now I don't know how I'm going to get out of this situation. I mean, can I take a left at this light? Is this U-turn worthy? Hell, I could have turned around that gas station right there. No, that ain't good either. Son of a bitch, man. Oh! Right up there. That that part, I gotta get over to the right. God dang it, of course there's a line of freaking cars, dude. Of course there's a line of freaking cars. If I can get, wait, no. Can I cross the street up there? I think I can. Freaking, I wanna get Google Maps to tell me which way to go there. It's probably gonna tell me to take a U-turn too.
it has me taking a, a right over there. Shit, man. Um, oh, dude, all this traffic's gonna come up behind me. I'm not gonna be able to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. Nope. He pointed like he was gonna let me go. Ain't nobody gonna let me go, dude. God dang, man. I was gonna turn around right there is what I was gonna do, and I guess I could have hopped over when traffic stopped. Yeah, I could have done that. You know, I have to get over people. Come on, shit. I'm getting agitated here. I got my blinker on so then the people behind me don't freaking get over and pass me on the right too. Here we go. This is an exit that gets me going back the other way. Thank God. Slow down, Dave. 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 Jesus. That was a sharp little curve there. Okay, so Google Maps wants me to take a right right here, but my GPS is telling me to get back on that road going that way. Um, I don't know. I mean, this, this is a highway here. I don't see why I can't take this. Should I take this? No, let's follow the GPS just because I don't want it to take me on a non-truck route and I really get screwed, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna follow the GPS and take this left. Oh, I can't see, dude. I gotta... turn like this Jesus and my seatbelt keeps me from really looking and then you got this bridge here you can't see shit oh god dang it there's a car coming see what I'm saying you can't see <laughs> this is jacked okay I'm going bye guys <laughs> Jesus Christ to hell with this shit oh my god dude here we go. No low bridges. They're plenty high enough, thank fuck. Now let's hang this left right here on this little ass friggin' ramp. I down wasting all sorts of freaking time, dude. It's nice. Dang, man, that was fun. Let's never do that again. Jesus. Good job, Dave. You got yourself all up in a pickle again. <laughs> oh, I couldn't figure out how the hell to free it. I wish those cars would have let me over. Oh, they're going to yield sign and I can't freaking see. I'm just going to have to get into this little turn lane thing here. That way I can see, which I can now, and it's clear. Woo! Woof! Jesus! Yay! 6.2 miles, hang a left. I am done. And I'm done with this video. <laughs> Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place. These open highways are calling our name. And now it's time for us to escape. Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown